okay, this is reflection over or in the x-axis. As soon as they say reflect over the x-axis, I highlight the x-axis. I circle the x, and I bring it across just to remind myself that I am going to reflect in that x-axis. And what it is is basically it's just going over the x-axis. So first thing I want to do is actually um, list the coordinates of the original and the image. All right, so let's just do the original because that's all we know right now. Um, A is at 2, 8. B is at 6 over and 8 up. C is at 6 over and 2 up. And D is at 2 over and 2 up. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways you could reflect over the x-axis, and I am just going to show you one way. I'm going to show you both. So, um, if since I'm since x is the reflection line, since the x-axis is the reflection line, I'm going to count towards the x-axis. D is one, two away, and I'm going to count the same amount on the other side since it's a reflection. That means d prime has to be two away. Remember, as soon as you put that point down, label it d prime. It means it's like kind of like the second d. You can't just put d because you already have the original D right here. So C is 1, 2 away. That means C prime has to be 1, 2 away. So label that C prime. B is 8 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 away. That means B prime has to be 8 away. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and put B prime. A is 8 away from the reflection line, and that means A prime has to be 8 away as well. Once you have all of the points, just connect them. A goes to B, B goes to C, and C goes to D. And there's your reflection over the x-axis. So now you can kind of put the coordinates down of the image. So d prime is at 2, negative 2. Sorry, that's d prime. c prime is at 6 over to the right, negative 2 down. a prime is 2 to the right. and negative 8 down. And B finally, B prime, is 6 to the right and 8 down. 6 to the right and negative 8. Remember the x goes, the x coordinate goes first, the y coordinate goes second. There is another way you could do this. It really has to do with this rule. You have to remember the rule, though. You have to actually study it. So when you're reflecting over the x-axis, the x stays the same, and the y changes its sign. This doesn't mean that y is always going to be negative. It means that if the original y, is, whatever the original y is in sign, it changes to the opposites of, of what the original y is. So if the original y is 2, then the y becomes a negative 2 if it's reflected over the x-axis. If it's a negative, it becomes a positive. So let's just review that. Two, the x stays the same. So if you're looking at a to a prime, the x the x coordinate stood, it, it, was, it was a 2. It began as a 2, and it ended as a 2. Now the y changes its sign. It goes from an 8 to a negative 8. c is 6, 6. The x the x is the same, and the 2, negative 2, the sign changed. And B, the same thing happens, and D, the same thing happens. So, reflection over the x, the y becomes negative. 
reflection over the x, the y becomes negative. If you can't remember the rule, then you just count like I did over here and do it without the rule. All right, and that is a reflection over in the x-axis.